Mr. Um, Semensky, recently the Department of Energy released a study of the economic import, uh, impacts associated with exporting large quantities of natural gas that was performed by NERA Consulting. <clears throat> the study used outdated 2010 EIA projection data and concluded that while exports would lead to higher domestic energy prices and adverse impacts to American manufacturing, the overall economic impact would be positive. Mr. Semensky, isn't it true that EIA's 2010 data predicted that domestic natural gas used in the power sector would decline between 10, 2010 and 2020, uh, though its use in the power sector has actually ended up growing by 27 percent just since 2010? Uh, I've been in the forecasting business for a long time. No, I'm just asking, is that true or not? I'm not asking it's, for your personal history. It's uh, Yes. We, yes. Okay. That's all you need to know. Yes. So way off. EIA was way off. It not only natural gas in the utility sector not only did not go down, it's now gone up 27 percent since that report. Isn't it true that EIA's current projections of natural gas use in the transportation sector are seven times as high as the 2010 data used in the NERA study? And our supply estimates are also higher. I'm only, I'm not asking you, I'm asking you to just go back to this study that is being relied upon. Is it not seven times higher in the transportation sector than NERA projected in just 2010? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So this data was released in 2010, um, and uh, since then, 100 major manufacturing projects totaling $95 billion in investment have been announced. <clears throat> These are manufacturing facilities that would produce chemicals, fertilizer, steel, aluminum, glass, tires, plastics, and other goods, all of which rely on cheap natural gas. That's what's driving this manufacturing. These announced projects alone would push U.S. industrial demand for natural gas 30 percent beyond the estimates used in the NERA study. Just yesterday, the Wall Street Journal described decisions made by German and Canadian companies to locate new facilities in the United States because of low natural gas prices. The Germans, the Canadians, are coming to the United States with their manufacturing facilities. Do you believe that we should be making decisions about what to do with domestic natural gas in 2013 and beyond using data that reflected what was going on in that sector three years ago that vastly underestimated what is happening today? I think it's always better to have recent and accurate data in making forecasts, but... Uh, Especially since the data we're talking about is like a Frankie Avalon record, except it only took three years to turn it into completely outdated information that, is, that was totally wrong about where we'd be three years later. Um, Congressman 30, Markey, 30 as, years later. Let me as just I continue. was trying to say earlier... Let me just continue. Could last, I year, your your, last year, your agency found that exporting 12 billion cubic feet per day of natural gas could lead to a 54 percent increase in domestic prices. But today, companies are applying to export nearly three times that amount. <clears throat> it seems to me that before we permit more natural gas exports to occur, we should have an understanding of the potential economic impacts on consumers, on the manufacturing sector, and on the transportation sector in the United States in terms of our own internal domestic growth in those uh, sectors of our economy um, uh, and have it based upon real data, not old data, that bears no resemblance to what is happening in the natural uh, gas uh, sector today. 